Hey everybody, Brenda here. How are you this fine Monday? Hope you all are doing well. Today I am here to uh, work on, well actually I'm going to um, play with some guest checks and make a, uh, some altered guest checks for my uh, collaboration journal. And uh, this is the journal I am working on. And this has five signatures and it's a hardcover and I love the way it is turning out and um, I am working on uh, the collaboration between Tanya at Taddy Treasures and Anine at College Type and I am working with the uh, vintage uh, botanical vintage and architecture uh, digi kit beautiful kit and um, you will see me working with uh, with it during uh, these videos. So let's get started on our guest checks. So my thought is I was going to, these are uh, uh, some file folder for backing. So I'm going to decorate my guest checks and then sew them onto a little bit well, I'll probably glue them first and then sew around afterwards to have a little bit of a frame um, behind my guest checks. <clears throat> so that's what I'm working on. And I have one here that I have been playing with. <clears throat> you get quite a lot of um, botanical flowers in your digi kit. So... That is going to be my main um, focus, probably, on these. And you also get a bunch of doors. I'd like to try to use some doors also for the architecture part of the kit. So I already uh, did this uh, distressing. I want to distress this little piece here that I'm going to just do a little bit of collaging behind my... Um, behind the florals that you get with the kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my glue book and glue this down. I got my Uhu glue stick here. I should have my glass mat underneath so my table don't get so very, uh, oh, you know, glued up. And then I wanted to put a little bit of a different color down here at the, uh, at the bottom. I like to use different colored uh, neutral uh, strips of paper and things behind my, um, my focal points. So I'm going to add this right here. Right at the bottom here and then I have this uh, sort of brown with scripture and looks like burnt edges that I just love these bits of uh, paper and I got these off uh, Amazon and I love what they add to the To the uh, texture and the uh, background of my flowers so that's gonna go probably a right about the layer and I wanted a little something over here also and I thought about this little piece of digi kit and maybe some music somehow maybe like that would be fine just to give it a little more pizzazz put this right on this side here 
I didn't want to uh, really cover up the guest check. I didn't want to cover up the guest check words there, but if I had of, that would be no biggie. So I'm going to put my flower down because I don't want to That's going to go right about there, so that here will be fine, right on the edge. Okay, I like that. Then we will distress our fussy cut and get that down. Lots of fun things in this kit to play with. And I'll probably, I might have to cut off a little bit of the end. I just gouged my glue. I might put it down just a little bit. Not really. It's okay, really. Okay, and now, of course, I needed to add a little butterfly. And I wanted to mention that I'm using the butterflies that you do not have to peel the back off because you all know how long it takes me to do that. I thought I would save you the agony today and use these ones that I don't have to peel and I want him right about in the middle of my plant I guess that's all right right there and that will be my altered guest check but I do want to I think I can go ahead and just glue the middle of my guest check. Let me get my glue backed back on. Um, maybe a little label right there would do the trick too. So I will add that on. Just for a little more decor. These are fun, fun little guest checks to alter. I like doing the guest checks. I'm gonna put this up. I'm going to add this the uh, up and down way. I like that. Okay. So I think I'm going to try just gluing down the middle because I am going to sew these. Like so. So I will just glue them down to keep them together. Try to get it as straight as possible to the framing. So that's what it will look like. And then I think I wanted to get my crocodile and maybe put a hole let's see right I want it like cornered sort of sort of cornered right here and add a little grommet
turn it the right way here. Now I didn't want to do this to begin with because of the sewing, but I wanted to show you guys what I had planned to do. So I will just maneuver around this one. But for the rest, I'm going to wait on the little uh, hole on the side there. But my my idea is to maybe put the bulb pen with a little charm or something hanging down. Or maybe some pretty string or something. But that is what my plan is for these. So that's the first one. I'm going to set aside to let it dry. I will be sewing it around. And then um, next time I will show you the uh, the total thing done. So I'm going to set this one aside. I love how that turned out. So I have another one all distressed. Don't really show distressing, but it is distressed. And I thought about trying one of the doors to the kit. So I wanted to, I chose this door here that comes with the kit. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I thought I would try using one of them to see, just play with it and see what happens. But I also had this, this came with the kit with some like uh, grassy leaf look. So I was thought about putting that behind the door. Maybe... Maybe right about there. I like the, the numbers to uh, show at the bottom. And then, but I might not be able to on this one. I think I'll go all the way down. Am I on camera? just want to make sure I'm on camera there. So I'm going to go all the way down with that and then try to find um, one of my other pieces here that might fit on the side might have to cut off a little bit maybe something like this because I don't know if I like that one but anyway I have these little these little peoples here I got these or I could use these I just uh, picked out a few Tim Holtz people to go in front of my door. So I got this whole group of women. And I also chose maybe this group of handsome men here. And I think I kind of like this better because they fit right in the door. I, I do. I like that one. So I'm going to throw these women aside and do I want that one there to be the side or do I want I want something that's tall enough oh let's see this one because this one has like a flat edge to go I don't know if that would be tall enough though that doesn't look bad. So I think I like that. I don't know if I have room for a kind of plant that would look, I think a plant would look too uh, like big maybe for that area. So I like the grass here. So this is how I'm going to put it down. So I'm going to put that down right here at my little um, I think it's like the second line down right about here and I want it all the way to the edge I love these little um, 
sort of torn pieces that you get from Amazon. I don't even remember what part of Amazon, but I can look it up and let you guys uh, know what, what it is once I um, remember myself. Uh, I think now I'm going to put the little door down. So I hope you guys are all having a good Monday. It is Monday for those who work. I'm very sorry that, well, I'm absolutely thrilled that you have a job, but I'm very sorry that you had to go to work this morning. Okay, I like that. And now my little, my little fellas here, I, I think I will just distress the sides of them. Not that I can see that they need it that much. And for these, I won't use my Uhu. I will use my um, Art Glitter Glue. My um, granddaughter is still here but her dad should be coming to uh, pick her up anytime soon now so I wanted to try to get this video done for you all before he shows up because then there will be a uh, lots of noise she always gets excited when she sees her dad all right I like that what do you think I like that a lot. Let me cap my glue. And I do want to add a little bit of a frame to this also. Um, ooh -hoo. Just gonna put this down enough to have it stay there hopefully till I can sew it try to get it a little straight okay I guess I could punch the hole and just well no I, I put it I put it away so um, I will I do want something else though right up here I'm gonna put a little label right there I like that so um, yeah I'll be punching the hole and I don't know what I'm going to hang from it yet so I will show you the uh, the done project I do have these little and I don't know if those will work but I'll I'll show you in a second let me get this down I want this right about here I like that I have um these little tags here but I don't know if I would want them hanging right about here um, was the other one see they would hang down like so so I'll probably would rather maybe have like a little charm or something hanging down if I can find anything like that, which I, I'm sure I have, but. Okay, I can't think of anything else for this one. So I think I'm going to leave that like that. I do like it. So I'm gonna set that aside, grab another one. You could maybe call this like a mass make 
sort of thing going on here. I think I have two here. Get my distressing. I also wanted to try to use um, you get one of these like this with the kit and I thought those were cute um, so I think I'll try to use this and see how this turns out so I want to of course distress it but this will be my focal point with this one and need to find some background so let's see what we have here Looks pretty good. Right there. I'm gonna tear that a little bit at the top. I don't like the straightness at the top, but I don't mind it on the side. Okay. Now, I think with this one, the way it's, uh, I think this might be enough. See if I can leave the little um, number showing at the bottom. And glue that down right there there. Um, let's see if anything else would. Got one of these. Well, that doesn't look bad. I like that right there too. So alrighty, we will just add a little something else. for the sake of it. <clears throat> okay, so let's get this down, then we'll go from there. Um, I was trying to make, maybe, I have five signatures in my journal, so I was going to make at least five of these to uh, to add to my journal, and I've got to get with it um, as far as getting my journal together, if I want to be done by the end of July, that is. So... We, we shall see what happens. I'm going to put this right down here. So this will go right about there. So let's get this down. change my paper. Okay, I'm liking that. Cut this little piece off right here. So I think I do want something right up here. I 
thought I had some little, probably be too big though. Maybe not. Let's just cut out. I like this one. Oh, it's a stamp. Oh well, I'm just gonna cut it straight. Maybe do a little bit of a rock and roll back and forth here. And at the top. And redo the side here. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to wiggle, but it's not wiggling too too great. There we go. I might have to cut that down a little bit more. These came uh, with the kit also. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, I think I'll cut it down a little bit further. Should just find my little craft scissors there that cut down, make the little stamp marks. There we go. I think that will fit better. Now, my next thought is maybe decorating the um, <clears throat> the jar with something. So I thought maybe in here we might have something to um, stick on the little jar. Maybe a little something. Um, Royal Hotel, probably not that. Biscuits, maybe not. Um, that's too big. Don't rip. Hotel, that's another hotel. Um. Well, we could do a number, I guess. Still looking. Just want to see what my options are. We have this little... Well, that's cute. Let's try this. See what this will look like. Just a little... Come on. I know, I know. Another peel. It's just a little... Um, flower like Let's see what that will look like just on the front of the jar not quite in the middle Still not quite in the middle. Good enough. 
just a little something to decorate the jar. And we have another one done, except for we do need to back it uh, this way. And I will also be adding a little grommet. as we can. And there we have another one to add to our collection. Let's grab another one. Three down, two to go. If I can make my quota before we end this video. Like I said before, this is very, a very good way to do some mass making for any of your journals. I do want, I think, I don't want another jar one. I want to check out, that's red. See what we got for florals here. Lots of red and yellow. Ooh, there's a pretty pink one. And there's a pretty yellow. I don't think we've done yellow yet, so let's go with the pretty yellow. I like the pink one too. I might do that next. Um Let's see here, we need, do we want some, well, we got this music, could go down here and then maybe get some this I will need to let's see I need to do this one and we'll see how that looks and this one around and put our flower like so this one has to be in the middle a little more because of the amount of leavage on this side like those little picket things so let me um, distress this real quick actually I need to distress everything so I want this one down first and I can put the uh, music paper on the top one 
I had no um, nothing at my bird feeders this morning. They were quite quiet out there during my coffee time. which is unusual. Just put a little something right there. Probably, probably put a label or something over, I mean, on top of that, but I want to cut this piece off first. Okay, and let's set our flower down and see where it's going to fit. Very pretty flowers with, with the kit. It has like a, a little bit of a, a bend to it. So right about there. When it has a bend or something, I try to uh, focus on the stem and put the stem where it may go and let the bend go where it may. So doing that, I may have just enough room for a pretty little butterfly at the top here. Maybe. Let's see if there's something a little... I think I like that one. So... I hear my granddaughter screaming. I don't know if daddy's here or not, but we may find out sooner or later. Wow, I didn't get that at all. go and uh, possibly a little green label for over here just want to cut this out real quick go. <clears throat> Get a little label glued down here. There we go, I like that very much. I'm going to go ahead and get this glued down and then um, I don't think I'm gonna have enough time for number five, but I will do it off camera and show you the results because I'm pretty sure my son is here and I'm going to lay this down real quick. Oh, I love this. Love this. Very pretty. And there you go. And I don't 
don't see anybody there. So let me see. Let me see what happened, but if it's still going, we will um, show you what we had, what we got done. And there you go. Love them. I'm going to let you guys go and we'll see if this video takes. I will put it on. If not, I will be making another. So you guys have a wonderful week. Stay safe and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.